Here's an overview of the room mapper for the Oculus Quest pass-through. Uh, I want to show you how it works and what it can do for you. All right, so the first thing we need to do is tell the system where your floor and wall is. So we go ahead and line this up and pull the trigger. And now we want to find the ceiling. And there are protections within this UX experience to help you uh, along the way to have as much success as possible here. So it will, if it's too low, it'll tell you to aim up. So we'll go ahead and mark the ceiling. Now we need to find a corner. It doesn't matter which one we choose here. We'll go ahead and choose this guy over here. And now we walk around the room. We can go clockwise or counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. And you want to use the horizontal and vertical lines here to help you find the corner because there is no depth on the path through. So this helps out tremendously with that. So go ahead and walk around and mark each corner. And we get this one here. Almost done. There are protections to make sure you cannot make an incorrect room shape. So if a room is a wall is colliding with another wall, it will prevent that. And when you return to the first one, you can go and accept that and close the room. So now we have a representation of what we built as a mesh, uh, very simplified and clean. And let's go ahead and accept this. When we accept this, it actually saves this to disk. And then when you restart the app, it will re-serialize and realign this to your room, which is great not having to do this again and again. Okay, so now that we have this, what can we do with this? Uh, out of the box, the pass-through uh, is currently in experimental mode from Oculus and just gives you a camera feed and the head pose as usual, but there's not much else you can do with it. So this kind of helps you jumpstart into mixed reality by giving you a physical representation of the uh, environment map here, or the room rather. So as you can see, I can now scan across and against surfaces and I can have a cursor that will properly hug everything so now we have our room kind of brought now into the pass through. So with this, the first demo here I can show you, depending on the surface we're colliding against, it will spawn a chair around our room, or we can go ahead and add some paintings to the room. Uh, this shadow is because the default material on the system I give you here does accept shadows and the light's coming straight down. So ignore the artifacts of that just because of how the lighting is set up in here. And if we go to the ceiling, we can go ahead and put some nice recessed lights in. All right, and that's cool. Uh, next part of this demo is to show that the geometry that's created from the mapping phase of this uh, does have colliders. So now we have a physical representation that we can have lots of fun with and balance objects against. Anything you would do within the physics engine of Unity is now available to you as part of your room. Um, and as well, you can replace the materials that are surrounding us. So now I have a full matched to the physical surfaces room that has materials now. Um, the Guardian would protect you from furniture because obviously the room and walls now are too close to the walls where the furniture is. So, but this is great because now you have, you can actually touch these walls perfectly and they line up with where they should. So uh, hopefully this unlocks a lot of new experiences and uh, good luck and uh, have fun.